Hey there, this is Donna from Donna's Creative Space, and today's Friday, so that means we have a fun fold card for you. So if you haven't been following my YouTube channel or my Facebook business page, Donna's Creative Space, every Friday for quite a few weeks now I've been doing a fun fold project, either a fun fold card or a fun fold project. So today we are doing a fun fold card, and this card is um, a hidden gatefold card, and a gatefold card, let me start with a gatefold card, is when the two sides of the card, the front flaps, meet in the middle, whether they go this way, or if this was a vertical card, which we're going to make today, um, as long as the two meet in the middle, it's usually a gate, just like a, just like a garden gate. So... This is my gatefold card that I made, and I'm going to recreate it using some different designer series paper um, des um, patterns so that you can see it in a different way. This one is a horizontal or landscape mode. So you can see from the inside, here is my gate. These two purple, well this is Highland Heather, meet in the middle, but the reason I call it a hidden gatefold is because you don't see it from the, the front. It looks like a regular card until you open it up. And that's what we're going to make today. So I want to show you the products that I'm using and where I got my inspiration. I was looking through the catalog and I wanted to use this stamp set, Comfort and Home, because I hadn't used it and I wanted to challenge myself to make something. So what I did is I went right to the annual catalog which this is in and it's on page 88 in case you can't see the page number here but this is really a nice uh, stamp set so I like the background images and I decided that I was looking up above and I said gee I'm gonna kind of copy this one but change it around a little and incorporate my fun fold into it so this one is what I'm gonna what I'm shooting for Something similar to that. And this is what I came up with. So basically it looks the similar, you know, horizontal card. I put the banner that I stamped and, and I trimmed down with our triple banner punch, which you'll see in a minute. I used a circle in my background and I used one of the um, sculpt rect stitched rectangles from... You guessed it, my favorite, this is my favorite die lightly, the Stitched So Sweetly die sets. And I know I say it every time, that if you don't have this in your collection, you really should. And it it really, between the rectangles and these other shapes, it, it's a great, it's a great um, die set. And if you don't have a die machine yet, on September 1st, Stampin' Up! is introducing their Brand new stamp and cut emboss. In fact, let me grab it. So, so here is the new machine, the new stamp and cut. Um, this is the side view, and um, it has a crank. It's pretty. Li it's lighter than a big shot, and you just turn it on its side. And I know my camera's set up to make cards today, so it's a little close. But the two sides fold down, so you can have your area to crank your um, die through, your dies or your bossing folders. And let me move this aside. You, it comes with your base and everything's numbered now. It comes with your base platform, then it, see it's number number one, then it comes with your die cutting platform number two, and then it comes with two plates, two, sorry for the noise, two clear plates. Number three, mine are pretty worn because I've been using this. And the fourth plate is a specialty plate. So for certain um, dies or embossing folders, you need to use this number four. So I think it's a great new product. And I believe it's only $120. And they, are, they will be coming out with a smaller one also. The, small, the smaller one is called a mini stamp and cut. And it will take our little embossing folders. So that's going to be really fun to use too. Now I'm going to lower you back down so that I can do cards. 
All right, I think I am there. Sorry if I'm making you dizzy. Okay, so that's the Stampin' Cut. Stamp, cut, let me say it. Stampin' Cut and Emboss um, Machine. So, like I said, September 1st, if you don't already have a die cutting machine, that's a great one. With those sides folding up, that makes it great for carrying it to scrapbooking events or card making events. And um, nice and portable. Okay, so back to our card. So I told you I was using this Comfort at Home set. Gosh, I hope I can remember where I left off. And I told you this is the page I was doing it from. So this is the card that I made. And yes, this is where I left off. These are great. And I've said it just about every video. It's the stitched, Stitch So Sweetly Dies. And it is number 151690 if you're interested. I... I would get it if I were you. I just absolutely love these scalloped rectangles and there's quite a few different sizes. For this card I use this size but I'm going to make a new card, a new version with this little size. So that said I am using the Playful Patterns, Playing with Patterns designer series paper. This is the 6x6. Six six. This is such a fun paper pack. A lot of this is missing in this package because I've been using it a lot and I used this designer series paper comes out of that and I'm going to be using it again for the next card. And I am using the playing with pattern um, ribbon combo pack. This is the ribbon that comes in that so on my next card I'm going to use that and I'm also going to use the playing with patterns resin dots. That is also in that suite. Okay, so like I said, I decided to copy this type of card, which is very similar. This has a mat and a banner and a ribbon and two different shapes. So I copied it, and I, I think mine came out pretty good. Oops, I just ripped my grid paper up. I think mine came out pretty good, and I like that I could incorporate it into today's card class, Fun Fold Friday. Okay, let's get started. So, for this card, I am going to use a, I'm looking for just a piece of tape. Of course, I can't find one when I need one. So I'm going to use a glue dot because this paper, grid paper, is going to drive me nuts if it keeps moving. Okay, all right, so. We are going to make a card now. Of course, this side is going now. Gosh. You know, it's kind of funny to use the glue dots for different things around your house. I mean, I know this is card making, but yesterday I have this little tiny, tiny little um, night light. It's a little lamp. It's only like six, seven inches high. And I looked over at it, and the lampshade, the, the binding around the bottom of the lampshade was coming off. So I just grabbed my glue dots and put it on. I thought, well, that worked. So I thought that was kind of funny to use something like glue dots. But anyway, so like I said, I used the small rectangle, and I punched out one. I die cut one already. I have a two-inch punch. This is Coastal Cabana. I have my, my Knight of Navy card base Oops. is four and a quarter by 11. I have another piece, um, I believe this is two by four, nope, two by four and a half. And uh, let's see, two by four and a, two by two and a half by four. No, I take that back, two by four. This piece is two by four. This is two and a half by four. This is the designer series paper that I'm gonna use to make this one. And I have another piece of designer series paper, three and three quarters by five. I'll have all these measurements in the description um, on my blog spot, my blog space, donnascreativespace.com. So when you when this is on Facebook, you will have a link. If you click on the, the photo of this, it should bring you to my blog. And if you haven't signed up to receive my blog posts, then you can do so there. And um, if you're watching this on YouTube, I'll put a link below to bring you to the same spot and I'll have the direct, the all the cutting measurements and supplies I used. So DSP, I'll repeat three and three quarters by five, two and a half by four. Um, 
Yes, two and a half by four. And then two Whisper White card mats that are four by five and a quarter. And I told you about these. And I have some ribbon and some embellishments again. So I'm going to use Coastal Cabana. And I've got these three stamps that I'm using from this set. And I'm also using Knight of Navy. And I'm going to be using, this sentiment is going to be sending you a paper hug, which I think this is great. Since we can't hug anybody nowadays, it's just so sad what everything's, everybody's going through. And then this little flower, um, I guess it's a little fern maybe, going on the inside. So let me get everything out of the way, and I'm going to put my dies aside so I don't lose them. Okay, let's start with our card base. So instead of, usually we, we score these right down the middle, but this time we're not. We are going to score. Now you can use your scoreboard, your scoring either your uh, scoreboard or um, your trimmer with the score blade. I am going to score one end at two and three quarters. Now, to make a gatefold, you usually do it on both sides. So you could do two and three quarters on this side and two and three quarters on the other side. However, even though you we receive this card stock and it's eight and a half by 11, sometimes it's off a smidge. So when I make a gatefold, I want to make sure that it meets in the middle exactly and doesn't overlap a little. So I've scored one side at two and three quarters, folded it over, and now I'm just going to use, I'm going to do it the manual way and just fold this side over and let it butt right nice up against it. And then I'm going to press it down a little bit with my fingers and then use my bone folder, just like that. So now I have a perfect gate fold. And if I were to go back and measure this side, it is two and three quarters. But you know what, if it was slightly off, I would have been upset and I would have been fussing with the center all the time. Okay, so let's build our front. So for the, excuse me, for the front, we're gonna take our, P our Whisper White mat, I call these mat, this four by five and a quarter, and I'm gonna adhere my, my um, excuse me, my three and three quarters by five inch, design a series paper right on the front of it and okay so I have my design a series paper on there and while I'm at it I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to put it right on this side here just like this right okay so that's our fold now the other card we did horizontal this one we're doing vertical. So see this one? I did horizontal. I made sure I cut my designer paper so that the design matched. But you could use a totally different designer paper here. You can do whatever you want with the card. Anytime. You don't have to follow mine. So then I'm going to do some stamping. So I'm going to take my two by four, two, two by four inch piece and I am going to take this, I guess this, I don't know, this is like a basket weave. Pattern. This is what I like about this stamp set is I like the backgrounds and I'm just going to go across right up and down. I didn't even try to make it match up. You can. It, it might matter. It might not. Then I'm going to take this and this is our triple banner punch. If you don't have one of these, these are great. So I'm going to stick in my two inch piece and I'm going to banner the end of it. Isn't that cool? Nice, quick and easy. So then I'm going to take this piece and I'm just going to adhere it right to my card. I have two things of um, adhesive on my desk right now. I am using, I just grab whichever one's closest. This is the Stamp and Seal Plus, which is nice and strong. And this is the Stamp and Seal Regular, which is just as strong, not as strong, I should say. But when you're doing a lot of layers of cards, you it would it's good to have a nice strong adhesive alright so there we have our bin and I want to tie a ribbon around this so like I said I'm using this is Coastal Cabana I believe out of the um, playing with patterns oops let me do it this way so I just want to cut enough ribbon off so I don't have to mess with the spool 
and I want to make a knot and I'm going to make the knot and I want it to fall on the navy paper so that it shows up and because I'm doing this on camera I get nervous and I can never make a good knot on camera but hey, that didn't come out that bad you can also do that sharpie technique to save on ribbon if you'd like I've shown that quite often so I'm gonna put this towards the top because I don't want the ribbon to show so I can put it on and see where it's gonna come as long as I don't want to when I lift the C ribbon not that that would be bad it's a pretty ribbon so I'm gonna put it right about there and let's see and then I'm going to sometimes I will put a piece of scotch tape on the back but I haven't seen my scotch tape I don't know what I did with it so I'm just gonna put that there I usually don't tape down the ribbon in the back but because I want to make sure this one stays in that general area I did okay and I'm just gonna I'll trim these again later but I'll cut them down for now so now I can put this on my card front now I'm gonna put my adhesive and I'm gonna use my plus for this because this is a heavy layer I'm gonna put it on my card base and I'm gonna do it where I'm staying within I'm leaving a border around the edge because I don't want the glue to show so now I center this on here and this way I can I can arrange it so that it also covers that bottom piece like so and then when I when my ribbon moved a little bit not, not bad though there now my ribbon doesn't show so I like that okay so now that's done let's get some more stamping done so we have to stamp our inside all I did on the inside let's use our coastal cabana ink first I'm stamping whoops let me get this open so for the inside I'm just stamping in this bottom corner just this grid doesn't matter whether it's crooked just put um, it's just for a background and then I'm stamping on this two inch circle um, trying to get as much as this did you see what I did I tried to push it off that through the hole I'm trying to get as mu much of this swirly this looks like the reminds me of when we put metallic ribbon behind a um, uh, behind something we kind of jumble it up on our fingers and now I'm using this little this looks like little gems and I'm just gonna stamp a few around the edge and it doesn't really matter where just to give it a little more interest so we are done with the coastal cabana so I can put that away and now for the Knight of Navy so the Knight of Navy we need our sentiment oh I just got ink all over me oh. so I'm using like I said before the sending you a paper hug and let's see I'm gonna see if I can get this straight my head might get in the way good a little crooked but I'm going with it and let's see Oh, and now on this here, just this is the inside piece. I'm just doing this little fern, and I'm going to kind of put it off the paper just like that. Okay, our stamping is done. That was nice and easy. So let's put this on the inside. And open up our card. I'm going to put this... I, I just like the, um, these two colors, the Coastal Cabana and the Knight of Navy together. Isn't that not cute? Okay, so when you open the card, you're going to see this pretty piece too. So then I'm going to put this up on dimensionals. So let's see, I'll put a few of this on that. And then, let's see, I'll take my, take my pick tool to get all those off of it there. And I'm going to put this right on here like so and then with this I'm gonna put adhesive on the left side of it its left side not while it's up and then I'm gonna take a little piece because I'm gonna let it go off the edge so then I'm gonna put this just like this 
Isn't that cute? All right, and then to finish it off, I just took from our Playing With Patterns resin dots, and I'm gonna put, let's see, let's put one down here, and maybe one here. Um, maybe, I'll do two, I'll do another one up there. And there you have it. So there's, oops, wait, I always do this. I say I'll trim it later and I always forget. So let me get that done. So there you have it, a fun fold card. This is a hidden gatefold. Isn't that cute? Now you can also go in and put something here if you'd like. I would probably not use dimensionals though. I, if I had another message that I wanted to put down, here's a, I could put it down flat here. Oh, I just had a good idea too, is if you put this, a little message like for you or congratulations, whatever the happy birthday, whatever. If you take, let's see if I, ha I have some right here. Uh oh, oh good, I didn't get it in. I got all my stamps there. If you take your, your um, this is our tear and tape and it's a little bit thinner than our runners. If you took your tear and tape and put it I'm not going to do this because this is a card, but if you put it on both sides of this, right? Oh, you know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to do this. We're going to do this right in front of you. I have changed. This is no longer just a card. This is now a gift card holder. How cool is that? Plus, I don't have a gift card around to slip in here. And... Now, I would normally use, let's see, I'm not sure I have one. All right, so this is a, I just got a smaller circle punch, and I'm just going to punch out maybe a third of the circle. Oh, I'm so excited that I did this for you. Bing. So now, <laughs> we're going to have to do something. We're covering that up. But now, I'm going to take this off, right? Oh, we're going to be fine with this because I have an idea. Talk about winging it. Where's my take your pick tool? There, that's a lot easier. All right. So say goodbye to him. He's going bye-bye. But that's okay because now we just made a gift card holder. And what I can do is I can take him. Right? I say him. I don't know why. And I'm going to put this up here. And I want to stamp the um, I want to stamp the fern off of it. So because I already put it down, I'm putting another piece of paper. This is just a leftover piece, as you can see from another. This was I think from my card class to go. Oh, I'm I'm kind of excited about this now. This is how fun things happen. So I'm going to have this fern coming down like this, but I don't want to stamp the stem on the rest of my card, so I'm just going to do this just like this. Kind of right there. Right? And that way I it's a nice even across. That's why I put this scrap piece. Oh, this I really like this. So let's see. Um that's good. So now I have a place. I don't, I'm looking, I don't have a, I don't have a gift card, but let's say this is my gift card, right? I can stick it right in there. Oops, I probably did that off the screen. See, we have a little holder there. And so this was a fun fold. This was a fun fold card that turned into, <laughs> sometimes this happens. This was a fun fold card that turned into a gift card holder, just <laughs> right in front of your eyes. Okay, so here is our horizontal fun fold, right? Hidden fun fold, like that. See? And now this was our hidden fun fold. Gate, uh, sorry, hidden gate fold. This was our hidden gate fold, but I turned it into a gift card holder by just taping that down with our. Um, if you don't have this, this is a, a nice adhesive also. This is our tear and tape. It's great for 3D projects. So that's cool. So now we have a fun fold, but it's a gift card holder also. So there you have it. That's our fun fold Friday. We made a fun fold and we actually turned it into a gift card holder, which was kind of cool. But um, if you're shopping this month, please use my 
for the rest of August. I have this host code here. Don't forget to use your bonus day coupons. You got $5 if you shopped in July and spent $50 on product in, a, in an order. So thank you very much, and I'll see you next Friday. Take care. Bye-bye.